Hello, and welcome to the Consumer Advocate. My name is Michael Satterfield, and I'm your local Consumer Advocate. Today I'm here with Nick Nosman from Iron Mountain Financial. Nick, why do I need an advisor for retirement? Michael, the risks are different as you transition from your working career to retirement. A good financial advisor and retirement advisor can not only look at your asset allocation, but the location of those assets and coordinate those with your social security claiming strategies and look at the tax code to make your nest egg last longer than you do. Well, Nick, what are some of the risks? Probably the biggest risk people face in retirement is longevity risk or the chance of simply outliving their portfolios. Another one is the medical expenses. Most people are not prepared for the potential medical expenses they may face in retirement. Uh, medical inflation this past year has been over 5%, where most people have not gotten any increase in their COLA or cost of living adjustments. And another big one is market risk. Just being in the market is a risk for those that are withdrawing money from their portfolios. You need some type of downside protection to make sure that your portfolio lasts. Can't my current advisor put together a plan that'll work for me? Possibly, but there are different types of financial professionals. Oftentimes, financial professionals can help uh, put together a good plan to accumulate your wealth, but uh, when it comes to withdrawal strategies, a lot of them fall short. You need a holistic, objective financial advisor that can put everything into perspective and help make your portfolio last. You know, Nick, I've been with my advisor for quite some time, and he's kept me disciplined you know, through the rough times, and my portfolio has always recovered. Buy and hold may not work in retirement. Most retirees don't have five to seven years to wait for their portfolios to get back to zero after a 20 to 30 percent loss. You need to be diversified, but you also need to take into account Social Security claiming strategies, asset allocation, as well as asset location, and you need a plan. Harvard did a study several years ago in which they asked their graduates a very simple question. They said, how many here have a plan, a written plan, and specific goals for the future? Of that graduating class, only 3% had written plans and goals. 18% had goals, but they weren't written down, and the rest of the class had no specific goals for their future. Ten years later, Harvard went back and looked at how these students were doing. The 18% that had plans but they weren't written down were averaging about twice as much money as the people that had no plans. The 3%, on the other hand, were earning on average 10 times as much as the other 97% put together. So what you're saying, Nick, is that people don't plan to fail. They fail to plan. Absolutely. Well, my name is Michael Satterfield. I'm with the Consumer Advocate Financial Network, and you can reach me at 719-471-8566, or you can email me at consumeradv, Apple David Victor, at comcast.net. Uh, you can also go to our website, and it's uh, consumeradvocateshow.com. You can watch my old shows or just get information about a variety of financial planners that are in the network and are endorsed by me.